The next thing we're going to take a look at is something that's very difficult to understand unless we get down into the dirty details and look at an example. So we're going to say that if we've got a divisor of n, we'll call it k, and we're going to use that u of n group and then define a set based on that. So we're going to say u sub k of n is the set of all elements in that u of n such that when we take the element mod the k, we get 1. So for an example here, we've got u48 is equal to all these things. So let's take a look at, say, u4 of that 48 u group. So we're taking all the elements in here, mod 4, and the ones that come out to be 1 go into this group. So 1 mod 4 is 1, 5 mod 4 is 1, 7 mod 4 is 3, 11 mod 4 is 3, 13 mod 4 is 1, 17 mod 4 is 1, 19 mod 4 is 3, 23 mod 4 is 3, 25 works, 29 works, 31 mod 4 would be 3, 35 mod 4 would be 3, 37 works, 41 works, 43 mod 4 is 3, 47 mod 4 is 3. Okay, let's try another one, like say 24. So we're looking for all the things that when we take the mod 24, we get 1. Well, certainly 1 is. Nothing until we get to 25. And honestly, that's going to be it. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and show this, but it's worth noting that these are in fact subgroups of u48. Takes a little bit to show them, but mainly again we just need to show that they're closed and that they have each have inverses. And it's going to turn out that yes, when we do this, we're going to get a subgroup. Now, let's use that idea of this weird subgroup kind of thing. And let's prove something. So, we want to look at direct products of groups. So suppose we have two numbers that are relatively prime. We're going to say that u s t is isomorphic to the external direct product of u of s and u of t. That, we don't need this definition that we just did, but for the second part we do. We're going to say that u s of s t is isomorphic to ut, and ut of st is isomorphic to us. Okay, so there's really three things going on here. Before I try and prove this, let's go ahead and just see what's going on. So I'm going to go back to this u48 thing, and what this says, I've got 16 and 3. 16 times 3 is 48, and of course 16 and 3 are relatively prime. So that means that u16 direct product with u3 should be isomorphic to u48. So what are the elements of u16 direct product with u3? Well, it's going to be the set of all ordered pairs, one of which comes from u16, one of which comes from u3. So we're going to have 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 5, 1, 5, 2, 7, 1, 7, 2, 9, 1, 9, 2, 11, 1, 11, 2, 13, 1, and 13, 2. 
15.1 and 15.2. Now, showing that these two, that this is isomorphic to this group up here, it's not obvious. It is obvious that they have the same number of elements. If we just count, there are 16 elements in U48. There are 16 elements in this. So at least they have the same number of elements. But then, showing that they're isomorphic, we've got to find an isomorphism and establish that it's true. We'll do that. Again, we'll try and do that in the proof and see how that works. Now, moreover, what we're going to claim is that there is a subgroup of this. If I take this, us of st, so if I take the u48, if I do something like u1648, that's going to give us the group, so we're looking for the things in here, that mod 16 are equal to 1, that's going to be 1, 17, and let's see, uh, 33 would be in there, but it's not in U48, honestly that's it. So we're going to claim that this is isomorphic to U3. That's actually, since there's only two elements, it's really easy to show. Certainly, the identity has to map the identity, and then the other element is its own inverse, so they're definitely isomorphic. Now, a little tougher would be, what about U348? Okay, so we need to look at all the elements of U48 that are a multiple of 3 plus 1. So we'd have 1, 7, 13, 19, 25, 31, 37, and 43. Again, the claim is that this is isomorphic to U16. This one's a little bit less obvious. I mean, the, uh, the one where we had just two elements, it was easy to see. This one's a little tougher. So in our proof, we're going to show how we establish the isomorphisms between these different types of groups.